Hi and welcome back to another episode of Road Back to India. For everyone who is wondering, is she going back to India? Just check the description box. I've put it in there um, following all the questions that I got. In this episode, I want to discuss, you know, getting acquainted with a culture. In this case, it's Indian culture. But of course, in 2015, I visited other countries as well. And I prefer to, you know, learn about a culture through its pop culture or popular culture. So for instance, in Korea, I was really fascinated by the by the beauty industry and also the Korean dramas and the Korean music. So I listen to those and learn more about the culture and how people interact with each other and what the morals are. So you can so I'm doing this with Indian movies because I'm going to watch a Bollywood movie. Uh, but you can of course do this with any country in the world you want to visit. Before we start off, <laughs> I know there are already some people upset. How can you learn about Indian culture from a Bollywood movie? Relax, I understand it's overly dramatized and that people, you know, don't always walk around in fancy clothes and they don't, you know, just suddenly erupt in coordinated dancing. I understand. I watch Hollywood movies as well and I don't believe that every American eats pizza or, you know, has a Batman cave under their house. I understand it's overly dramatized, but let me explain why I'm doing this because for instance, I watched the Diwali movie just recently and it taught me about the modernization of the Indian arranged marriage culture. Actually, arranged marriage is not Indian. I'm sorry I said that, but just like the modernization of the arranged marriage, I thought it was a super modern mo movie, especially for the 90s when, you know, when it, find, uh, it was published for the first time. Also recently I watched the movie Three Idiots, which gave me an insight in, well, youngsters being pressured in their career to either become an engineer, a doctor, or a, what is it, like the third one? A lawyer. And of course, I know not every Indian parent does this or whatever, but it's just teaching me something general about the culture, which I can use as a conversation topic with locals. So for instance, about the arranged marriage, I was able to discuss it with a local girl who did prefer arranged marriage and the way she explained it to me, like it's a more objective standard than just emotions and hormones, I was totally able to see her point of view and I'm not judging, I just want to learn about the culture. So right now I'm going to watch the movie PK, which is supposed to be really good as well. And I'm quite sure there are going to be some cultural morals in the movie, which we can discuss in the comments because I know I have uh, quite a lot of Indian viewers who uh, want me to come back to their country and I want to hear about your perspective. So let's just watch this PK movie together and then uh, you can teach me more. Also with the English translations, I'm able to learn Hindi a little bit more. So last time when I was watching Diwali, I learned Aap mere dost, so you're my friend, and I learned Chalo. Let's go. Wait, what? Is this a sci fi movie? 10 minutes into the movie, and this is what I've learned never trust old people. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh oh, 12 minutes into the movie. It's about India versus Pakistan. Love the songs already. Lol, this is hilarious. With the, what is it, Guru or something? Ay, ay, ay. Of course, the parents disagree. She wants to marry him. Oh, I think I'm going to cry a lot in this movie. See, this is why movies can teach me a lot. There are like five different meanings of Acha. Acha. <laughs> I was already wondering what bi meant because I am completely addicted to Mumbai Karnikil's vlogs and I constantly saw like bi, bi, bi in the by with bh in the comments i was like what is this is this like friend or something like that by means brother learn something again and yes i do understand it's like a friendly brother not like a real brother but it's good to know what it means by the way is it also common for a woman to say this to a man or is it only like a man to a man let me know down in the comments below oh! I've been here! So cool to see it in a movie. Seriously, this movie is hilarious. <laughs> this is the part where he's uh, looking for God to help him. It's it's freaking hilarious. I love it. Oh no, 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 no. He's not doing this. He's taking the wine to the mosque. No! Oh, do widows still wear white saris? Is it still like tradition? This is a really good movie to learn about uh, all the different religions in India because I believe like 
probably every religion is represented in India. I do know what they're trying to do with this movie because I think, I know, because I think they're like trying to show like, um, like all the crazy things that people do for a god that they don't even know for sure exists. And uh, now I also understand why Kabir loved this movie because he's an atheist and uh, this is like preaching for his church that there is no God and it's ridiculous blah blah my religion is love I do not judge other religions whatever you believe I'm cool with that as long as you do not you know try to convert me to your religion then we're awesome but I, I think they found a really funny way to criticize religion <laughs> oh gosh this is hilarious I know like nudity in India is, is a thing. <laughs> oh my god, this ending! This is I'm crying. I'm almost going to cry. This is ah, oh, this is brilliant. That's one hell of a beautiful ending and I'm dying about the dancing card. So hilarious. Look at them, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this was a wonderful movie I loved it so much and of course the message was not just about the boy and the girl falling in love but it was about religions and how religions can't mix and how we people basically corrupt religion or use it for you know purposes that are not okay and uh, I think what I learned from this is it's not just Indian culture because for me it's so beautiful how so many religions can coexist in one country and still there's not a civil war. Seriously, I can recommend everyone to watch this movie. It is such a beautiful story. It's so wonderfully made. Oh, I loved it so much. So there are just a couple of questions in this video. If you're Indian, please help me down in the comments below. If you're not Indian, uh, please go watch the movie. It's called PKs and uh, I learned that means you're drunk <laughs> Thank you so much for watching if you like this episode, please put a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed to my channel Click that subscribe button and then I'll see you again next week. Bye